another three presentations. Our next speaker is Mario Martinez Sancho. He's going to talk about the quick development of portals for the management of geodata. Mario is a telecommunications engineer. He, he has 15 years worth of experience and has worked in the private sector with a focus on web technology. My name is Mario Martinez. I work at DISIT. I'm going to talk to you about how we can use GVNX to develop geo applications to view and manage geographic information and for this information to be exploited within a geo portal. In my presentation, I will address. Um, historical issues in this type of applications. We will also talk about GVNX, what it is all about and what functionalities does it have with a focus on the geographic component of such functionalities. And finally, I will share with you a very visual example on how to manage and handle data and exploit them within a geo portal. Uh, to start with, we're going to talk about our issues and problems historically in this type of applications. In broad terms, we have used different applications to exploit and make the most of information. Applications with different user profiles and expert profile, which usually has a desktop application. And then there is another user profile of a lower, lower level who keeps alpha numerical information on a web application. So uh, some information, some common information is maintained from different applications. This picture is intended to illustrate the problems graphically. On the left hand side we have uh, an application to visit and on the right a web application developed with GVNX, as you can see, connected information, linked information is maintained, in this case a roadmap, a street map, and on the right hand side we have alphanumerical data. So what's the goal to fulfill? There are a few goals actually. First of all, we want to present geographic information to users in that application and with that particular user profile. We also want to integrate the management of such information. We do not only want to view data, but we want those users who are not particularly experienced in geographic systems to maintain and update their data. And finally, we want the information to be exploited within a geo portal. And the desktop application would therefore be for those with geographic expertise. This picture illustrates the objective. As you can see in the previous picture, we did not have control for maintaining the data. While here there is a bit of an integration already, information can be viewed, but it can be handled as well and maintained. Besides, we can use it, we can exploit the information. In this case, we see the map, the information on a geo portal, and we can interact with it. How can we do that? Well, we will use the tool GVINIX or GVNIX. At a very, very high level, GVNIX is a tool for quickly develop, develop web applications. What are its features? Uh, well, roughly speaking, it is multi-platform. It can be used in any Windows, uh, Linux environment. It's uh, very easily installed. It 
generates source or code so basically generates the section which does not give value to the project in such a way that the developer can really focus on the business logic. It uses a broadly used technological basis in Java uh, and web application world such as Spring and it fosters the use of best practices as to the structure of the projects generated and the coding of the generated projects. Finally, the generated projects with GVNIC comply with the GEE standard. What does it look like? How do we interact with the tool? Well, the tool is comparable to a command interpreter. As you can see on the screen, it is interactive by issuing orders or commands. We tell the tool to include these or that functionality into the project. This interactive desktop or panel board has interactive uh, wizard elements and it gives us information on the next steps to take. This screenshot is included into the development environment, in this case Eclipse, which facilitates development, but the tool doesn't force you to use a complete IDE. We can use any IDE or even not use an IDE. What are the functionalities of GVNX? Well, in general terms, it allows us to create a data model and it automatically generates the web layer in such a way that we can maintain the data model in general terms among many other functionalities which I cannot describe for time reasons. Um, it has uh, web services, tests, reports, this is a screenshot or an application developed with GVNX. It shows the functionalities. We can see a list of data, basically uh, names of uh, streets in Valencia, Pérez Galdós, Jesús. It has different columns with alphanumerical data, the width of the street. If it is a double, a dual carriage, for instance, you can edit data, delete them. On the left-hand side, you can search for streets. You can export things into different formats, Excel or block operations. You can select a number of rows and delete them together. And you also have a paging system. So this is just another an example of a GVNX developed application. Let me now focus on the functionality we're interested in here, namely the inclusion or introduction of the geographic um, information in a dual way. On the one hand side, on the one side, sorry, on the one hand, uh, for users to be able to maintain the system and on the other to be able to exploit it. I will show you an example as well with screenshots of a street map consisting of both maps, uh, streets and buildings. Everything I'm about to show you has been automatically generated by GVNX without having to develop a single line of code. What's the first step for us to include the geographic component. First of all, you need to generate your geoportal base. Uh, it is a new entry on the menu. In this case, a map, a map for us to position the geographic data on. By default, a map is provided from OpenStreetMaps. 
Next, if we so wish, we can, e we can add new external layers. We have added an overhead view of the city. This is our layer. And all these external layers can be introduced by using WMS services. Or, uh, and this is the most interesting thing about the functionality, we can include any data with a geographic component as a new layer within the geo portal. In this case, on the left hand side, we can see new layers, in this case, the location of the streets and the area and the chord number of the buildings. You can see two streets on the map, Pérez Galdós and Jesús, and a building next to Calle Jesús or on Calle Jesús, Jesús Street. Another possibility is to include new, new portal, sorry, new tools on the portal. By default, some tools are already available. In this case, we see the tool on the right hand side, which is a zoom functionality. And on the left, we see a little hand for us to move around the map. But we can add more, such as the ruler, which allows us to take measurements on the map. Besides, developers can add their own customized tool, tools. I'm going, yeah. I'm going to show you a little example with the uh, development of the application. Uh, I'm going to show you the functionality obtained in a video. You can see two tabs for the same application on the left and on the right. On the left, we open our map page or map uh, geo portal. And on the right, we go to the list of streets. There are no streets on our list. As you can see, we're going to create one. We first enter alphanumerical data, in this case, the name of the street, Pérez Galdós. It is a chain. And we now add its width, numbers, 100. And then, if it is bidirectional with a Boolean uh, data, so any user without geographic experience could actually record for the say for the first time the location of this particular street. Let me stress that the tool allows you to include data. You can tell the tool I want this street to have a name, to have a width and to specify directions. But you can also specify geographic fields. For instance, you can include a new field or box which is line type, a line. You can add a dot, a line, multi-lines, polygons and geometry in general. Let me go back to the video, to the example. The user sets the starting and the finishing point for a street and by saving this data this information will automatically be displayed on the geo portal. And here it is, uh, Pérez Galdós Street on the left screen. You save and here it is on the list and on the geo portal. Now I'm going to add another street, Jesús, Jesús Street. It is 50 meter wide. The moment I save it, automatically it is refreshed on the map on the left. Let me now create a building. There are no buildings on the list yet. I'm going to create one. I enter a chain value, a reference, then the date and 
most importantly, the tool allows us to associate things between data. In this case, a building needs to be related to a specific street. You select the, the street, Jesus, and here you find two new data types. First, the area or the polygon around the building to select. We establish the vertices of the polygon and then the number of the building, the chord number. By saving, the information is displayed on the left-hand side on the map. Please note that each of these layers can be enabled or disabled, checked or unchecked on the map, on the menu. A very important feature on the map, you can access information and maintain it by clicking on an element on the geo portal all the information stored is displayed in this case the reference of the building the date and additional information if you want to have the details of this particular information you have these two buttons which show this one shows us the details for that particular piece of information but you could also do the management of the data and you can do that on the right hand side too on the list in fact we're going to do the editing on the right screen we notice the number of the building is not right so first we delete the existing datum and we enter the new number the moment we save this change, the information is automatically refreshed on the geo portal on the left. And here it is. As you can see, the green point has moved a little bit more features by clicking or by checking on the right list uh, building. You can also see it on the geo portal. The moment I check the box, the status changes on the left. And another interesting feature, and I now go to the street list, is filtering. You can filter things out. If, uh, for instance, uh, if I set a criterion for all the rows, the resulting roads will be filtered out, not only on the right list, but also on the map on the left. And as you can see, I highlighted the term, the word Pérez, and the results are now viewed on the map on the left. And if I change now Galdoz, Galdoz, Pérez Galdoz to Jesús, you can see that Pérez Galdoz Street is gone, and we now can see Calle Jesús. And I'm going to show you how to use the measuring tool with an example. Ciudad Bella is measured now on the map. Jivinix also allow us to view the application in different devices. Jivinix is adaptive and therefore any application with a geo component makes the most of this. Our application can be viewed on different devices, as I said, because it adapts automatically to the size of your screen. Technologically speaking, uh, Mario, we're running out of time, so it's conclusion time. Two minutes. Right, databases. We use PostgreSQL, PostGIS, and Oracle and Oracle Spatial. For data, we use Hibernate Spatial and JTS. As for future versions, uh, future versions will also include a reference map with a full view of the map regardless of the zoom 
We will also be able to see the coordinates of the mouse. We will include a graphic and numerical scale depending on the zoom applied on the map and the number of improvements about the layers and the map will be printable. And now my conclusions. What good is GVNX? Well, GVNX can be used to develop applications for data exploitation and to do the management of data with a geographic component, not only the management, we can also exploit and make the most of that information on a geo portal. Besides, this tool allows us to integrate to integrate it with any business processes and to integrate it on web and mobile systems. An example of this will be given by David, my colleague, in his presentation. He will show us an example for usage in maintaining and management the roads of the uh, Provincial Council of Valencia. There will be a workshop tomorrow for you to practice things with the example that I showed you. I would like to say thank you to the Association for this opportunity. And that's all from me. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mario. Well, very nice. Uh, 